Good morning, boomers. Good morning, crypto maniacs. It's the voice of the blockchain here, Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, the price of Ethereum has fallen to 389 today. It's down 72% from its all time high of $1,432 after rumors that an application specific integrated circuit, aka an ASIC miner, has been rumored to have been developed by Bitmain, one of the largest manufacturers of cryptocurrency mining hardware worldwide. Now, what are these ASIC miners? How do they compare to GPU miners? How could the ASIC mining affect the price of a coin? And why are some crypto communities so adamant about keeping their blockchain ASIC resistant? I'll have this article linked down below from TryMining.com titled, Why We Use GPU Versus ASIC. Gives a quick rundown and compares ASIC uh, units against GPU units and gives you the pros and the cons. So let's check it out. What are ASIC? Again, ASIC miners are application specific integrated circuits. ASIC miners are specifically designed to mine a specific coin like Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Dash. Here's some of the pros uh, they have a lower power usage, very high hash rate, physical size is smaller, and they have a higher profit margin which means that those ASIC miners are yielding more coins than uh, GPU miners. The cons are is that they have a higher entry point. Uh, these ASIC miners cost more than GPU miners. Since they're application specific, with an ASIC miner, you can only mine one specific coin. If you get an ASIC miner for Bitcoin, you're stuck mining Bitcoin. Uh, one for Litecoin, you're stuck with Litecoin. And uh, I believe they have ASIC miners for Dash as well. They have a shorter lifespan being that if the blockchain that you're mining decides to change the code for whatever reason, it could render your ASIC mining useless, okay, which could make it obsolete overnight, okay, and lower the resale value. How do they compare to GPU miners? GPUs are graphic processing units. Uh, you can mine coins like Ethereum, Monero, and Zcash with GPU units. And the pros is that they're general purpose. Uh, you can not only use GPUs for mining, but you could also use them for video game or uh, rendering videos or whatnot. Uh, they're easily sourced, which means you can get the GPUs from several different companies. Uh, I know that AMD, NVIDIA, and Asus are some of the companies manufacturing these GPUs. And they're standard hardware. That means that they can uh, easily... Uh, click into a motherboard and it's inexpensive. Uh, some of the cons are they draw more power. They're not as powerful as ASICs, so they're not yielding as much and they're overall less efficient than ASICs. Uh, requires a little larger equipment and you cannot mine certain coins with GPUs. Uh, we know that uh, you cannot mine Bitcoin, Litecoin, and I think you can't mine Dash either with a GPU, being that the ASICs are so specific, uh, they're more efficient. And uh, they basically uh, outcompeted uh, mining with ASICs. So how does that affect the price of coins for that very same reason? We've seen that the Ethereum price fell ever since they announced this. And uh, you've also noticed uh, that Monero uh, has a similar uh, war going on against ASICs. It says here on this article at CCN.com. I'll have this link down below. It says going to war, Monero sticks to anti-ASICs guns with emergency software update. Just like Ethereum, uh, Monero, it was announced that Bitmain had a ASIC miner being developed for Monero. Uh, Monero went into an emergency software update to render that ASIC useless. And uh, Seems like Ethereum may do the same thing. I'll have this other article linked down below. Ethereum users support hard fork to brick Ethereum ASIC mining pool. Uh, you'll see here that they cite Vlad Zamfir's tweet. Vlad appears to be a head developer over there at Ethereum. He asks, would you support a hard fork that obsoletes ETH ASIC? As to which 57% of the community responding to this tweet said yes. They want... Uh, to render ASICs useless, so they want to go ahead and perhaps update the Ethereum code uh, to make things ASIC resistant. Uh, people are arguing that since Bitmain, Bitmain is the largest manufacturers of these ASIC miners. They have the ant miners designed for Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dash. Uh, they're arguing that since Bitmain basically has a monopoly on these ASIC miners, uh, they would have a monopoly on the coin if they're the only ones uh, that have the hardware to to mine it so you'll see coins like monero fighting back 
uh, and now possibly Ethereum fighting back. Uh, you know, ASIC, uh, arguably, the existence of ASICs arguably caused the price of Ethereum to go down because if an ASIC miner uh, does exist for Ethereum, makes things a lot easier to mine Ethereum, and that, you know, uh, could lead to someone uh, like Bitmain mining all the Ethereum and dumping it. Uh, perhaps they could be already mining Ethereum using an ASIC miner. We don't know. Uh, drop your opinions down below. Share them in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the ASIC mining. Uh, are you pro ASIC mining? Are you a GPU miner? Uh, what do you think? Should Ethereum remain, uh, uh, decide to go ASIC resistant like Monero? I would like to hear your opinions when it comes to ASIC versus GPU mining. It's the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's biggest cousin, cryptography's finest. Champagne Crypto, thanks for tuning in.